Have you ever experienced that you call your lashes and it loses the color after a few minutes? You might try other eyelash colors, buy new waterproof mascara saying that it stays color all day but it ends up not really work. So today I'm going to show you how I keep my eyelash curled all day. It should work for everyone because my lashes are so straight and very stubborn. With doing this routine you could achieve that nice C shape voluminous lashes but also you could keep that all day. I think this is gonna be a lengthy video so let's just right into it. This is my lashes completely bare. It's very straight, but it will turn to this look, which is very nice curled and volume lashes. First thing first, prepare tidy and clean lashes. You might wear concealer or foundation before curling your lashes or putting some mascara. But here's the thing, residue from skincare or makeup product can disturb your lashes to be curled because of the greasiness. It could be a moisturizer, sunscreen, concealer, and foundation. So please wipe your lashes with a clean q-tip to make sure that your lashes don't have any greasiness and make it dry to be cut well and using a spoolie comes through your lashes to separate them and prevent clumps when you apply mascara and second tip is find the right eyelash color on your lashes everyone's lashes and eye shapes are different so an eyelash color that works great on my eyes may not work well on yours if your eyelash color doesn't align with the structure of your eyes it could even damage your lashes best one would be the one grabbing all of your lashes without missing any single lash for example, this is the one which worked not really well on my eyes. So I'm going to try grab all of my lashes with using this eyelash color. It can reach out to the end of my lashes and also it can reach out to the beginning of my lashes. So this eyelash color doesn't work on my eyes because it can't grab all of my lashes. And this is the one which worked really well on my eyes. You can see that it grabs every single of my lashes. Even end of my lashes and the beginning of my lashes. I'm gonna show you again. Like this, it grabs every part of my lashes. And if you see on this side, you can see it hugs all of my eye shape. So this eyelash color fits on my eyes, but it doesn't mean that it will fit on your eyes. So it is very, very important to find the right one on your eyes, on your lashes. So now you have clean eyelashes, right eyelash color on your eyes. So it is time to curl. What I'm gonna do is heat up the eyelash color a little bit with a hair dryer or lighter. For me, I've been using this technique for a long time, so I'm not going to use a hair dryer because I want it to be really quick. But if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend to use a hair dryer instead of lighter. If you use a hair dryer, the temperature would slowly go up, but if you use a lighter, the temperature would go really high, really fast. So I think it would be better to start with using a hair dryer. And then if you get used to using hair dryer, knowing the what is the best and Pretty it is, and then you could move to using a lighter. But even if you're using a hair dryer, please, please be careful. Please don't leave a hair dryer no more than 10 seconds, otherwise it's gonna be too hot. Before heating up the eyelash color, I also make sure that my eyelash colors are clean. Now I'm going to heat up my eyelash color a little bit. So I'm going to heat this part of the eyelash color, where it's actually gonna curl your lashes. After heating up, I'm not going to touch right away because it's gonna be too hot. I'm gonna wait a little bit to cool it down and then after a few seconds, I'm going to check the temperature. I think the best temperature is in between hot and warm because if it's too hot, it's gonna hurt your eyes and it's gonna create too strong curl, like J-shaped curl. And if it's too warm, it's not gonna work really well. It's the same as hair. If you want to curl your hair, you need some like help from heat. So it is very important to use the heat to curl your lashes and to hold it longer. So if you see inside eyelashes, the eyelash hair is just not one straight direction. So this part goes like outward. This part is going like this part and like this. 
first I'm going to call just upward and I'm going to call this part to the outward and I'm going to call this part to this side. First I'm going to place the eyelash color to the roots of my lashes as I touching the roots and then I'm going to plump gently a few times and walk the eyelash color out so loosen it. Slowly and gently clamp down on your lashes. And if you find that you call too strong, you could use a spoolie and then brush them to loosen the curl. You can brush them down like this to make it more softer. The thing is you have to call all of your lashes, not only the roots, because the roots are actually bringing your lashes up, not actually calling all of your lashes. When you call them, there is no need to press too hard. If you press too hard, you are going to create too strong J shape curl. But we want to create really nice soft C shape curl. And when you lose your eyelash color, please don't go like this. Your eyelash is going to touch your eyelids. If that makes sense, I want to go down instead of go like this. So you can see that the end of my lashes hasn't curled properly. And also... This part is not really called, so I'm going to call this part again and also on this part. And grab all the outer lashes and then angle the eyelash color like this and then move outward. So now I'm going to call this part, which is the beginning of my lashes. Move opposite. And you can see my eyes are more open and my lashes are curled really well. But if you see my lashes on the side, my upper lashes are curled, but my lower lashes are pretty straight. So I'm going to curl my lower lashes. When you curl your upper lashes, you go like this. But when you curl the lower lashes, you have to go like this way. So you grab the eyelash color like this. And see my lower lashes start grab. And then I just gently clump. So now I finished to curl my lashes. To keep the curl longer, I'm going to use a mascara primer. Curling your lashes is very important, but also holding it longer with mascara primer is also important. So I'm going to use a mascara primer. There are a lot of mascara primer out there, and for me, I personally like the one has like clear gel, not the white gel, because if it's dry, it's gonna leave that white things on my lashes. So for me, this mascara primer works really well for holding the lashes longer and for more volumizing looks but also there's a two different version of the mascara primer and this one is like a more like long lash look so it has a fiber it clear gel so for me I just need something just hold my lashes curl so I'm just going to use this mascara primer but if I want to get really full-on eyelash look I use this one first and then I put some length with this one so so you can use both. There are also other mascara primer which can do both, like lengthening your lashes and volumizing your lashes. But for me, this one does a really good job and really, really affordable, so it's my favorite one. So I'm just going to apply this mascara primer all over my upper lashes. For now, I'm going to use the mascara. And for mascara, I'm going to use the one from Tarte. This is the most thickening and volumizing mascara I ever use. Applying a mascara in the right way is also important to hold the curl much, much longer. So I know that waterproof mascara can hold the curl longer, but as I curl my lashes with the heat and I put some mascara primer, so even if I don't use a waterproof mascara, the curl will last all day. So you don't have to buy new waterproof mascara, you just can use just anything you have. I'm just going to start with right down to the roof of the lashes. This time I'm not going to wiggle it a lot because it will become plumpy and heavy so it will lose the curl easily. I'm going to lightly wiggle on the roof and swipe up. 
So now I finished applying mascara on my upper lashes and then I'm going to apply on my lower lashes but I'm not going to use the same mascara on my lower lashes because the mascara I used just now has kind of big and thick brush applicator so this can be too big to apply on my lower lashes so I'm going to use this one from Innisfree and you can see that it has really really tiny and thin brush applicator so it is perfect for applying lower lashes if you can't find this kind of mascara you can use a spoolie instead what you can do is put some mascara on spoolie and you can apply on your lashes it can be a more affordable way than just getting a new mascara for your lower lashes but as I have this mascara I'm just going to put this on my lower lashes you can see that it can reach out to every single lashes hasn't finished yet I'm going to lift my eyelashes with heat again I don't know if it's only my struggle sometimes my upper lashes and lower lashes like stick together so when I blink my eyes it's just kind of uncomfortable so for me it's very important to like separate them and make a space between lower lashes and upper lashes to make my eyes feel more comfortable and also I want to make it more lifted and I'm going to heat them up with the lighter and then use this part I'm going to like lift it all over my lashes like this in this part you have to be really really careful because this part is gonna touch your water lines and if it's too hot you will burn your water lines as your eyes are really sensitive and make sure the temperature is not too hot and as the same as previously i'm not going to touch right away i'm just going to cool it down a little bit and you can see that the upper lashes can nearly touch the lower lashes so i'm going to make a space we're lifting everything up like that lower lashes goes down like this lift it up everything So now I finished my routine and if you feel that your waterline is too obvious, it is too empty, you can tightline with a pencil eyeliner. For today, I want to look more defined look, so I'm going to tightline with a pencil eyeliner. So this is my finished look. I am really happy about the result. My lashes doesn't look clumpy at all. It looks really cold well. Since I stopped to doing this routine, I never changed and it literally lasts all day. I can guarantee that it would work for you. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thank you for watching today. I will see you in the next one. Bye!